Hello, welcome back. If or welcome, I don't know. Anyway, I'm here to give my opinions on Minecraft Dungeons. Um, yeah, mostly the DLC controversy thing, or if it's even a controversy, I don't even know. Um, anyway, I'm gonna give my opinion on the DLC thing, and uh, if you're st still here, you're probably gonna listen to it. So, um, okay. well, let's begin. Anyway, um, hi everyone, I haven't been, uh, in for a while, um, anyway, so, Minecraft Dungeons, great game, I grinded through, like, the entire thing in a week, well, the week that it's been out, and, um, it's very nice, uh, I don't know what else to say about it, um, it's fun, simple, it is a little repetitive, but, you know, um, but anyway, I'm here to cover the whole thing with the DLC. Now, a lot of people are, um, mad. A lot of people in the Minecraft Dungeons community are mad at Minecraft Dungeons, or Mojang, because they didn't release the, uh, there was a DLC that was found within the game files, and they just, it's like fully finished and everything, but they didn't release it. So a lot of people are mad, and, uh, I'm here to tell you why not to be mad and why um, it's perfectly fine. For starters, um, I feel like the base game of Minecraft Dungeons is kind of just like um, kind of just like a test. Like the first, it's only currently like nine to if you max it out um, nine to um, uh, fourteen levels, depending on if you unlock all the secret levels. And, um, all of these levels are made to be played, like, three times over, and there's, it's, the game's pretty small on, a, on its scale for the type of game it is. It's very small and has a very short story. So, um, basically, um, a bunch of people, modders, um, found within the files of Minecraft Dungeons the finished, a bunch of finished levels for the, um, up-and-coming DLC release. So, um, I'm here to say, um, just everyone to stop being angry. Um, there's really... Okay, first, first point. Mojang can release whatever they want, whenever they want. It's not our job to tell them. Of course, we can tell them our opinion, and that's what I'm doing now, but, um, let's just... Uh, be rational here and consider that from a marketing standpoint it's a lot better for them to release it as a DLC to reinvigorate the hype in the game. Um, two, um, even though it might be finished, like that doesn't mean that's the full DLC. For all we know, the DLC could run on a completely different story. It could, it could just be completely different. We have no f clue on what the DLC is. Well, we do have a clue, but we don't have, like, a full picture here. And it might not even be finished. We might be still getting more stuff that they just haven't finished. And what they added was just the stuff that was already finished that they're not going to release yet. Um, that's another thing. Uh, those are my two main arguments, a couple of small ones. Uh, let me think for a second. Um, oh yeah, so... Minecraft Dungeons in its current state isn't really like a full game. At this point, it feels more like a type of beta type thing or like a test. Just to kind of give us a taste before they release all this other stuff. And for its low price of $20 comparative to a lot of games in the modern time, which are usually $60 or more. Actually, between like, usually between 40 a hundred is the average price of a game nowadays, I would say. Some games are released at twenty, some release at like a hundred and twenty. It's it's ridiculous. But Minecraft Dungeons released at twenty dollars. So you're getting a twenty dollar game. It's it's one it feels like one third of a normal game. Or one third of a normal dungeon crawler. It's got one third of the like abilities, one third of like 
one third of the weapons, one third of the levels. It's just one third of a game. And over time, I feel like they're going to release more parts and finish this game. Make it like a full game instead of just being a one third of a game and make it $60 with the full thing with the first 20 and maybe they do about like five DLCs or four and do like $10 DLCs but are four and they come with eight. They'll probably do something like that or just mix and match their DLCs up however they want to. Um, but I think that's probably going to be their end goal to try to release just DLCs and keep adding to the game while keeping the price relatively low. Oh yeah, and one final point. Minecraft Dungeons is kind of like a, a test for Mojang. They haven't done many other games outside of... Actually, I don't think they've done any other games outside of Minecraft. So their company needs to be pretty careful when it comes to releasing new genres and new types of games. And Minecraft Dungeons is a big experiment for them. It's a totally different genre of game. So I think their slow pace in releasing it, or slow pace in um, releasing all the content, is good because it makes them able to continue making more content. And if Minecraft Dungeons, Dungeons ended up failing, they could back out immediately and focus all their efforts on a Minecraft. There wasn't too much invested. There wasn't too much... Um, I mean, there was a lot of effort invested. I'm not saying it wasn't a good game. But there wasn't so much that it was... So much invested that it wasn't uh, worth to keep going. And Well, that made it worth it to keep going because it was at a point where... Can't turn back now. But... But basically, they just prevented it from being a complete flop. So, that's a, a great thing, I think. And um, that's pretty much the end of my rant here. I've been going on for like seven minutes at this point. Anyway, uh, if you like the video, um, do all the normal shit that everyone else tells you to do. Uh, if you don't like it, um, I don't care. So, I mean, leave your comments if you want to, but uh, just know, unless they're... Um, Actually, I'll probably only, I probably will read the comments so they don't get me. So, bye.